what is going on guys this is your main man ben here delivering some crypto news crypto updates first and foremost happy independence day united states of america very significant holiday once again hope you have a blast right now hope you're celebrating safely so today marks a very special day because we are in the greens people um the entire day almost is all positive everyone is almost on the greens and everything seems to be in line and we are in coin market cap right now so we are seeing greens and bitcoin up 1.29 percent ethereum's up a little bit but it was way way better this morning biggest winner of the day ethos they are 64.61 percent that is a very significant gain congratulations to all hold holders of ethos um q ash 24.06 percent that's a very good one so not a whole lot of big gainers but overall the market is showing a very good um movement hopefully we are in the trend for a very positive one really soon guys so main news for the day as well for the miners for the miners we are a current setup 9 570 amds 11050 ti 1 uh 2170s 11070 ti and 11080 we are netting at currently how much 8.84 guys so that's a slight improvement from yesterday um we are not going to complain as a miners that's still a positive outlook we are still mining 24 7 um no matter what happens till bitmain will take some of whatever but you know it like what happened to zcash officially so added news bitcoin gold already had a successful fork so officially if you are mining bitcoin gold you have to change the algos um um let's check out real quick per mining pool hub they have they have some stuff here that was uh um pointed out that that you know bitcoin gold specific algorithm you know so you have to change the uh, uh b gold proof of work you know algo i haven't really set it up real quick but but as you can see the most profitable right now to mine on amd cards is ethereum on nvidia it's still ethereum um equihash and zcash i don't know how long this is gonna last but uh yep so moving on guys moving on the, one of the biggest news for today is the traffic jam on ethereum network fees are up why is the ethereum fee went skyrocket guys so apparently there's this um coin or or an chinese exchange has this called like f coin um this was the main reason why the ethereum network was bottlenecking um as a result fees are skyrocketing because of this f coin thing um it looks like they're bombarding it with with um um basically a voting mechanism that that goes through this i really don't understand this f coin thing in an exchange as a result they're like flooding it with some voting system and and as a result the the gas price went up skyrocketing and it affects the entire ethereum network the the erc20 um network and they they just went up so i hope it will be resolved soon enough but this is one of the the, the weakness of ethereum network so we shall see because from proof of work as much as i don't want to go to proof of stake because i'm a miner myself um this like like uh, uh vitalik is moving towards you know speed up the process to transfer to, to uh, proof of stake it's again scalability issue guys but it is what it is and we have to to deal with it you know so if you want to if you want to deal with with the fees right now it's going to be up to you but personally i don't want to move any of my eth just because of this so moving on guys moving on so remember the the syscoin yesterday that we reported so 
So it appears to be there was a compromise on Syscoin. So Binance already set this up, the uh, uh, secure asset fund for users to, to you know, safeguard the, the users themselves. So this is a good thing. Um, we just have to be more vigilant and, and you know, just do your own di due diligence and, and safekeeping. All right. All right. So moving on, guys, moving on. We have this report that 800 cryptos are basically gone, like ICOs, initial coin offering. You know, we all know that, guys, that most of these ICOs are fake. Um, they just try to, to bait people, giving their money an initial coin offering. And as soon as they got the funds, they ran away with the money and no one's going to be responsible on it. This type of scheme is very rampant. Um, started last year, skyrocketed in 2018. So be very careful once again, guys, when you have this ICOs. Um, most of these ICOs are scam. I hate to say it, but almost 95% of these ICOs went to the toilet and just few are legit projects. So this is just serves as a fair warning for those newcomers that gets you know baited real quick for this one so you once again you want to be on top of everything especially on those initial coin offerings guys so be very very uh, vigilant on this one all right so moving on guys moving on once again bitmain is in the headlines um this site in ethereum world news bitmain is officially one of the block producers in eos eos so there you have it um if you're an eos a supporter i don't know what kind of decentralization they're talking about or or pushing on their on their project but putting bitmain as one of their block producers is still decentralized i don't know how you qualify that one but this bitmain it's not a decentralized uh, platform, guys. So this Bitmain, if you don't know, owns all of the ASIC right now, like ASIC miners. Like I would say out of 100%, they own like 95%, maybe 96. These miners are, are the ones that uh, um, um, monopolizes Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash. And also Bitmain has been accused like before they release this this hardware to the uh, public they are indeed um mining themselves so it's a double dip guys but yes bitmain is one of the eos 21 block producers so put that in your head and do whatever you gotta do but yes i just want to put that out there and also guys last but not the least the pirate bay again guys the Pirate Bay is back. So once again, it looks like the Pirate Bay is secretly planting uh, uh, um, some, some software that mines for their visitors or their users. So it looks like they're back, guys. Um, somebody just caught them planting softwares. And, and as a result, this uh, uh, users that visit Pirate Bay guess this um, software that mines Monero. So um, users definitely doesn't know that, but once it gets, what happens is that once users get this downloaded into their computer, once the, the unknowingly, so when you surf the web, this software has already been injected in your CPU, so they automatically mine so so there you have it just be careful um going to <laughs> the pirate bay if you're still using it but there you have it it can be anything so you can see all this um um this looks like an an address right here so that's it for today guys um just a quick update and news for you um once again happy independence day america and always remember God is good all the time. Once again, this is your main man, Ben. Be safe out there. Peace out.